What is going on guys? Today is Tuesday Q&A. This is where I answer your questions, but not only is it Tuesday Q&A, but it is Silly Hat Day. <laughs> I wear a silly hat for you guys. <laughs> Alright, let's get into this question, shall we? My fucking eyebrows looking really fierce right there. Why do I look like a kid that has cancer? <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. We're going to cure you. He'll be dead in two weeks. All right. Uh, first question from James Buchanan. Uh, what's going on? Are you related to uh, Pat Buchanan? Uh, is this Black Bigot? If so, you're awesome, dude. For real. Love your show, man. It is. Thank you very much, Mr. Buchanan. I appreciate it. Uh, next. Uh, let's see. Next question from... Let's see, uh, from, come on, you slow ass piece of crap. J Marine Lorena 96, uh, what was the most difficult era of your life? How did you overcome it and what did you learn from it? Love your videos and I keep my questions and I hope my questions make you think deeper and give you some insight about yourself. Um, no, they didn't, sorry. Um, the most difficult era of my life was probably, I want to say when I first moved out of my mom's apartment, um, the first six months were kind of bro uh, rough because I was broke a lot of times, um, but I made it through and uh, here I am today, 40 years old and living in a van. Something's wrong with that. Uh, you overcome things that are going on in your life by just letting time pass. I mean, you can kind of mentally clean it yourself up, but eh. you, you just you make mistakes and then you learn from them and then you move on. Uh, no one's gonna tell you what to do. Uh, no one's gonna tell you, oh, don't do this, don't do that. You gotta learn your own mistakes. Uh, thank you, uh, Miss Lorena, ninety-six, for the question. Uh, next question from Sarah. Hey, I wanted to ask, one, what is the backstory to why you do the cemetery videos? Are you trying to preserve their memory, spread awareness? Were you inspired by a movie or a personal life event? Was it just a hobby you decided to share? Number two, do you have any advice on how to make good YouTube content for a beginner? What's your personal philosophy? Do it for money or just do it for fun? And three, did you really used to work in a morgue and what was it like? Also, I'd like if you keep my name anonymous. Thanks. No problem, Sarah. Anytime. Um, a yes to all of those questions on number one. Yes. Uh, I prefer, you know, let people know that they lived. It is a hobby of mine that I've always done. I just never really decided to do videos on it. Uh, advice on how to make good YouTube content. Uh, I, all I can only tell you is don't do what everyone else does. That's all I can tell you. I don't know what that is, but you're going to have to figure that out on your own. Don't be, unless you're hot. If you're hot, you got big, you got a big rack, you got a big, uh, big bubble butt, bubble, bubble, bubble butt, bubble butt, bubble, bubble, bubble butt. Then just show your big, your big, your big ass and uh, your big hooters uh, on YouTube. Everyone loves it. Uh, try to be different. Uh, try to be yourself. Try to be honest, uh, brutal, brutally, brutally honest. And I, I really did work at a morgue. I worked at the coroner's office. I was doing community service, so I didn't. It wasn't a job job, but I had to do community service, so I. I, I did about uh, 200, uh, 280 hours or something at the corner's office. Uh, thank you for the question, uh, Anonymous Sarah. Uh, by the way, there, there's a million freaking Sarahs out there. Nobody knows who you are, okay? I, I know you think, you're like, oh my God, the people in my town, they're gonna, nobody knows who, nobody knows you, girl. You're nobody knows you. I'm not saying you're not important, but nobody knows you, so stop. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Next question from Elijah Bowen. Yo, bigot, can you do 10 push ups straight? Also, shout out my bro Ryan and say he's gay. Uh, all right, 10 push ups. All right, let's see. 10, ten push ups. Ten, okay, I can do 10 push ups. All right, let's see if I can do them. Okay, I did do them. Uh, I'm not gonna lie though. Uh, uh, 
I could have done maybe two or three more. If you just said, hey, can you do 15? I don't know if I could have done it. <sighs> okay. And uh, I, gotta, I gotta keep my hat on, it's, it's getting hot. It's silly hat day. Silly hat day here on Black Bigot Channel. Oh, and a uh, big shout out to your gay friend, Ryan. What's up? Sucking you, sucking you. Ooh, later, lately, huh? Like this suck on. Okay, thank you for the question, Elijah. And, uh, tell your boyfriend, Ryan, I said, what's up? Okay, uh, that's, that's not a question. That was a, person, a question for the cop. I still got to call the cop. Uh, next question from Grayson Ward. Uh, hey, Lamont, it's Grayson. Please say that Zach McCarty is a cunt bitch. Thank you for your time and have a nice day. Well, see, I was trying to not cuss for all of February, but that seems to have failed miserably. So, Zach McCarty, if you're out there, well, I don't need to repeat what I just said. You know what you are. What kind of name is Zach? Do, do, hey, hey, Zach, do, do yourself a favor. Uh, well, no, Zach's not a bad name. It's not a good name, though. Thank you for the question. Uh, let's see. Next question from Eric Holmes. What's up, Holmes? Hey, Black Bigot, this is Eric. You can use my real name if you want. Well, I always do. Uh, I have a question. Have you ever heard the story about the young bull and the old bull? The young bull runs up to the old bull and says, Hey, let's run down there and fuck one of them cows. The old bull says, Nah, let's walk down there and fuck them all. Hope you found that funny, man. Stay safe. Let's run down there. I don't get that. Sorry, dude. I guess I'm on a late show. Uh, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's go, go, go. Mm -hmm. Next question from Jay, J-E-Y, Jay. How many homeless old women have you raped and murdered in the last two hours? Uh, the last two hours? None. Thank you for the question. Uh, next question from, let's see, N-A. What does your diet normally consist of? Doesn't look like you cook in your van. Junk food? Next question. Did you ever consider getting a pardon for your criminal record? I don't care about the pardon for the criminal record anymore. It is what it is. Uh, junk food? Yes. I, McDonald's, Taco Bell. I'm a, I'm a fat slob. and I can, I can barely do the 10 push-ups. Can't you see? I'm all sweating and uh, tired. Ugh, I'm so out of shape. Okay. Next question from MKDK. Tell me, hobo. How many girls... Should Kobe raped for you to not act like you're sad when you heard he burned alive? Karma is a bitch, Kobe. You know, I wasn't going to read that question, uh, but, you know, people like that, you know, like at first I would have been, I would have been, you know, pissed off that he read that, that he sent that question, but it is what it is. Okay, next question from, uh, Let's see. Grace Lamb. Hey, Black Bigot. My name is Grace. I'm from Austin, Texas. Do you plan on coming back to Texas? Also, have you ever ate ass? LOL. Love your videos. Uh, yes, I've eaten ass a couple times. Um, wait. Yeah, like twice. Um, it's it, There's nothing really hot about it. I just want to see what they would do or what they would say. And they didn't really say anything. I caught them off guard, if you will. Uh, I was already in Texas, so. Uh, I left. Uh, when am I coming back? I have no idea. Thank you for the question, Grace. Uh, next question from uh, AT. Hey, Lamont, this is more of a follow-up response to a question I asked you a while back in one of your Q&As, which you responded back and called me creepy. Don't be cheap, man. All I want is some skin and a hot bath with you. Hit me up. 346 260 three four seven five I attached a photo of me 
Okay, let's see what this guy looks like. This one's acting really slow. Okay, so this guy right here is a pretty good looking guy. Uh, if you've been in prison for 40 years and that's, he's the only prisoner where you're at. Okay, very good. Thank you for the picture. And uh, sorry that I said your phone number, but uh, it's, you know, when you, when you guys uh, send your questions, then, well, anyways. Um, let's see, next question from That's not really a question. All right, let's go. Let's go to do, 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 do. Eh, 11 minutes. Not too bad. We're making good time. I'm trying to get these questions out. Um, let me see. Was this is this a question? Oh, okay, that's not a question. Sorry, guys, I I need to start uh, cleaning out my email. Oh, now we're into February. Uh, let's see, good. Next question from Mangoes. Kind of looks like that one uh, black and white rapper kid. Hey, Black Bigot, my name is Jesse Musgrove. I am 14 years old. I thought you were Mangoes. Uh, my name is Jesse Musgrove. I am 14 years old, and I am from Bellevue, Nebraska. Oh, boy, I wonder what's going on over there. Not a whole lot of nothing except probably fentanyl use. I have two questions. Uh, stay away from fentanyl. How long have you had your van for? How long have you been living in your van? And how many miles have you driven on your van? Uh, I bought this van, had 170,000 miles. Now it has 206,516. So I've driven this van right at around almost 40,000. Because when I bought it, it had just a little under 100. It had like 168,000 miles. Um, I have been living in my van for about four and a half years now. I've lived in my my van before, but it would be for like six months, three months, and then I could go get a place. So this is the longest I've ever been in, my, been in my van. And I've had this van for a little over a year. Before that, I've had other vans. Thank you for the question, uh, Mr. Musgrove from Bellevue, Nebraska. What's up, bro? Uh, Bellevue, what's going on over there? Is there any hot chicks over there where you're at 14 years old? Are you gay? Do you like boys or you like girls? Which one do you want? Um, let me tuck my ear in there. It's making my ears all full. Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? Got big ass ears. If you got big ass ears like me, man, you better have a good personality. You better be funny or have light colored eyes, man. Because if you got big ears like me and you're going bald, I feel so sorry for you, Jesse. Hey, Ma. Hey, Paul. I'm going down to the to the to the store. What is that? Like three miles away? You probably live on a farm. Um. Let's see. Next question from uh, Dina Smith. Uh, hey, Black Bigot, I just want to start by saying I love your videos and Instagram posts. I want you to shout out my ex, Vince, from Wisconsin, who showed me your YouTube channel and is a big fan of your content. What's going on, Vince from Wisconsin? What's up, bruh? Uh, when will you be coming to Wisconsin next? Where do you want to travel to the most this year and why? Uh, Dina. Uh, I will be in Wisconsin, uh, next month, probably. Uh, I'll be around the, uh, Rockford area, Rockford Beloit. Uh, I'll be there for a few days. Uh, Madison area, Madison, Beloit, uh, what's that city in between? And Rockford, right there. I'm uh, not sure how long I'm going to be in New Orleans. Why, are you going to take me out on a date? Yeah, you want to make Vince jealous? Yeah, you want you want to you want to make out with me? You want to make out with all this weight, all this fat? Ugh. Huh? You want to take a picture? It would be Dina and me right here. Uh, like, like, like let's say, let's say Dina were this uh, damn near empty bottle of vodka, and then we could just we could just post on Instagram and we could just make out and make Vince all jealous. Like, you know you want it, baby. Holler at me. Okay. Uh, Thank you for the question, Dina. Uh, let's let, let's do one last question from uh, T420. Hey, bigot, are you using YouTube to scam money from people? Uh, good question from T420. Uh, no, uh, um, I get money from ad revenue and I get money from donations. Nobody needs to give me anything. You don't have to give me anything. I'll still read all your questions. I'll still respond on the. Uh, 
on the live stream. Um, I don't respond to all messages because sometimes there's 150, sometimes there's 200 people in there. Anyways, uh, that is concludes this Tuesday Q&A. If you have a question for tomorrow's Q&A, uh, hit me up. Talk about criminal at gmail.com. Talk about criminal at gmail.com. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.